some up and comers. Well, here on Dust, they're on a bit of a streak, a four win streak over the likes of G2, Fnatic, Astralis. These are all great teams at this map. And so that bodes well for Mouse Sports in this series. They may be down a map. They may not have looked super competitive on that T side of Inferno, but now is a whole different kettle of fish. Let's see if they can uh, start to boil up as they get into this T side. A fast play down lower in the pistol round for Mouse Sports. It's lots of Kevlar for complexity and immediately a kill out middle. Poison's gone and Mouse Sports will move up mid. Yeah, Wokstick even shooting the Diffuse kit. Now, that's not going to break it or anything, but maybe it's a sign of... I don't know. Pushing it, it back. Yeah, He's yeah. trying to push it back. Okay. Didn't really work. Yeah, it didn't. I don't know. I Yeah, that's no, pretty much all it is. I'm not assigning anything to it that it wasn't. Let's go. Let's go. Up through short for Maus. We'll lead the Diffuse kit in the back Ooh. of our minds. A nice tag wow. on a config. And Frozen deals with him at ramp. Obo, now at long. <laughs> Tapping down. And, ooh, that's a nice kill on a Frozen. Okay, oh, oh and a follow-up okay. as well from Obo. All right, so now it's in, oh, what? okay, Obo, on for the ace now. Of course, in the blink of an eye, he's gone from none to four, from zero to hero in this round. And it's only Carrigan left. He's flashed off the angle. The bomb is planted for him, it. but this should be an impossible yes. clutch. And it's Obo with the ace, finding the first round on the board for complexity. A great start to dust for this man. Shout out and to my Obros out there. Your Obros, yeah. yeah, man. I mean, this was nuts. This was wild, in fact. And considering he hadn't like, you know, he didn't blow in our minds back on Inferno. Like he really, kills. yeah, he really does open up Dust 2 in a big way. Yeah, no, he was like the bottom performer in the server back on the previous map. Apart from Chris, actually, he ended it with 10 kills. Bottom for his team, only negative player. Obviously, just looking at the numbers alone, but that's a great way of just spinning it on its head and opening up Dust 2. It's put full money and full rifles in the hand of Cole, who won't play around with any SMGs. You don't often see that on Dust 2. I think very safe, knowing Mousebots aren't going to force here. They want guns soon, especially on their rifle, especially on their pick, at least when it comes to maps. Bomb is going up middle, two players here, it's been spotted, and Wox is going to get wall banged out. Even though Blame falls back, there's still a second line of defense if someone else wants to challenge. Config coming in, and he's seen Rox with the bomb as well. Rox looking for the deep shot, does land it, but will get swiftly traded. Four from Blame in this one, so not quite the ace, but it will do, and it will be two for complexity. Mouse coming in with guns, and the AWP in their third round of the play. Poison can't afford it yet, so it will be still the scout here for Cole. Fast cap play for Mousebots, not hanging around, not waiting. But the grenade is received by Karagun. Nice shot from Frozen, opens up on long. Takes a bit of damage from Rush, but it will be an advantage for Mousebots, a much needed one in this opening rifle round. Up cap they go and set the quick smokes up. This bomb is going to be late. Mox is holding dark, and Mousebots, they look like they want to commit, but that bomb is still in spawn, so it doesn't really hint towards uh, an A play here. They're actually going to back out and go B late. And that rotation from Cole to Gamble is, is a bad one as well. They've moved away from the B bomb site. This might come back to haunt them with mouse boards falling back into what could be a mid to B, putting pressure on the tunnels right now. But, oh dear, here they come. Th right through middle. Cole are going to spot this mid to B smoke. They know exactly what's going on and there's nothing they can do but about it but save. It's a pretty grim ending to a round for complexity. You know, you lose one man and then it has to culminate in this save, but that's sometimes the way of Dust 2. And sure, it doesn't make for anything exciting here in round number three, but it will be a much needed round on the board for Maus and a flawless one at that. These are the kind of rounds that really set you up for the rest of the game. So it's an important building block here for Mao Sports as they're finally going to make a bit of money. When you think about how the cash really was becoming a problem for them over on Inferno, it's nice that they're at least kind of dealing with that threat early on by keeping this first buy round flawless here. Now, pretty much the same can be said for complexity, right? They keep four players alive. They save on four. Rush has got money to reinvest anyway. There's a chance that we could even see... Uh, <laughs> 
Probably, uh, yeah, I don't really know. I was trying to figure it out. Woxley's just like chilling. Harry, you, you're trying to read Woxley this game. I don't think Woxley no. knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's shooting but kids. He's running into walls. I like walls. that about Woxley, you know? Yeah. He just brings like an element of, uh, of cheekiness to his gameplay. You're never really sure what he's planning, and yet he manages to make it look excellent when he does it. Well, a first round of the board. That is excellent for Mouse Sports. Getting on nice and early with the rifle rules, and Cole don't have the money to you know, stop them. Not necessarily, necessarily with the AWP at least, with the scout it will have to do. Nice little B play for mouse boards that Cole run away from, preemptively in fact. And now, well, they're not going to do that again. Obo is sat inside of the site, config supporting the window, and we even have mid being taken by Cole. So very focused towards his B side of the map. Of course, Blame can rotate fast, but... Right now, Cat has been taken just yet. Mouse boards are moving up it though, frozen. Flashed out on long, does spray it, keeps rush back. He doesn't want to give away the long pick in this round. Let Mouseports get an advantage early on. They are just going to creepy crawl their way towards Cat. The scouts move back on the car side. Poison's going to be watching, and Blame can hear all the footsteps as well, telling Poison to be very alert. The smoke's gone down to allow this cross out behind Catwalk. With no one in the lower tunnels, this does just feel like the commitment from Maus, right? They don't have any contingency plans. They don't have anything else up their sleeve. This is just looking like the cat play. And this is, you know, like a bread and butter for a T side. You know, this is one that you just roll back time and time again. So this is a nice early kind of litmus test of this cat play from Maus forwards in this game. 30 seconds left as they try and get into the site. Molly. Gonna force a man out from the ramp position, but it's actually Poison with his scout at long to deal with Carrigan as he moves into this site. And Poison's getting away with even more damage. A bomb plant will get found here for Maus at the very, very least. But this scout has already done more than enough and Poison is continuing to lay down the pain. Config comes in because he doesn't want anyone to forget about him while Poison's popping off like this. And this leaves Rops all alone. This is an undoable round. He knows it. We know it. He's backing out. And the deep users come in for complexity. I can't think of the last time that I saw like a cat play like that just get left to the, the mid lurk. The guy watching the, the, the tunnels flank and the mid play and, and defending long as well. Like Rops is in a one on five with a bomb part of a cat. Like what the hell is he supposed to do about that? Excellent shots from Poison. He doesn't need the AWP, Harry. He doesn't want it. Well, I mean, that's a lie. He does, and he'll take it right into this round. Reaping the rewards of those scout shots. Woxic is going to join him, though. 0-3, yet to frag, but let's see if that can change in this round. Got that AWP late from T-Spawn to Long. Poison is posted on the car once again, and Rush is taking control of this position as well as Mouse Balls look to flash out into Long. There it goes, and here come the T's. Rush might need some support after all. The AWP is going to move in to try and take a shot, but a boost up for Mouse Balls above, above the blue. Flash up, poison mollies, but still Rush hasn't gone for a full fight nor peak. The grenade should get some damage, but nothing significant. And this is a great angle to watch Pit. Wox and T's will drop a flame, and oh, Rush is trying to get aggressive. He will land that kill. Poison covering as well as drop the T Orpa and somehow some way complexity not only get control back of long but get the bomb dropped to their feet that kill would make every difference but Chris will survive miss shot from poison and that's given mouse bolts a way back into this round look at Carrigan yeah, Carrigan being so deep within the site, that's a bit of a, uh, a question mark. Not something that Complexity really know about. Oh, there we go. Carrigan has it under control, but now he's really got to have it under control. You know, you've kind of like tamed the beast a little bit. It's trusting you, but can you get Obo on side in this 1v1? He's 6-0 on the board, and he's looking to go Bames John, 7-0 if he gets this clutch. Looking for Carrigan, who's hidden at Goose, and Oboe has seen him. He knows what's going on, Ooh. and Oboe is going to tap Carrigan out of the round. Deep use for complexity, locked on in as this clutch goes their way. Remember, that was a two-on-three for complexity once that bomb look to get in through long. So Oboe winning that one out, continuing to string together rounds here for the cold side. Oboe, he's a nice dude. He won't shoot your dead body. He'll knife in your general direction. That's about all the BM you're going to get from this man.
but great round from Oboe as well. The fact that, you know, not only Carrigan's in a great position there, I think the problem for Malsports is throwing the bomb on the cross. That player definitely should have just crossed. Chris was low, but I think that's the risk, right? Uh, Config didn't know Carrigan was there, and he's able to swing out and at least get one for his troubles. Oboe reads drops his position, which was the, the same as the previous round at top mid, holding onto that cat play, and he's able to not only kill him, but close out the clutch. Good stuff for Cole, 4-1 up on Dust 2. We, as we said, you know, Mouseballs, they've had a great track record on this map, but right now Cole are looking great individually, and they've always been a fan of Dust 2. Fast mid play, trying to create a distraction for this B tunnels, execute config, missing the shot, pistols out, he's gonna give up B here, but that gun is not what he wants up against the Tech 9. Somehow Chris wins a fight from a range, and that all, while it's not been picked up, it is retrievable close to the window for Mouseballs. This round is looking like a lock-in. A fast mid to be play. Complexity missed a couple of crucial shots, and with that not going his way, it's got to be a save. So this B site is really where mouse boards are, are kind of getting by right now in this in this Dust 2 game. And complexity falling short in this one. You think about the fact that this was only a partial investment for Mouse, and actually this is a great outcome. You know, suddenly you are just flushed with money over on the T side. You're able to get it done on with only these pistols. That shot making all the difference from Chris. Don't really know how he gets away with it with the Tech 9, but. Sometimes that is the Chris J effect. Interesting as two players here for Mouse don't have head armor. Up against the M4s, that is a bit of a curious one. Oh, those is Woxic here with his AWP over at long. That's because they half bought last round and they, they don't want to upgrade it, right? They bought, they were eco, they were pistol armor and, and mouse sports win it, but they get away with, you know, not 100 armor left. And so it's going to cost a grand to upgrade, whereas mouse sports would rather, you know, take the risk and save the money. Uh, you know, like in pugs for sure, at this level, it could be punishing, but, you know, can't really dwell on it. It's not a, a big problem for mouse sports by any means of the word. Not yet, anyway. Let's see if it looks to become a problem. This bomb just left in top mid. Mouseport taking this round very, very slowly. They're waiting to see if Complexity try and push the uh, extremities of these bomb sites. Not looking to be the case. The one man who could be in a bit of danger right now is Rush over at Long, uh, as he does lie in wait on the other side of these doors. And there are players here for Mouse trying to scout this area out. Now, this is where Rush has been helped here. Poison's rotated back from Catwalk. A pretty ballsy rotation, all things considered, because there were players for Maus there. Flame F is listening out for the cat plate, and Poison is here to help Rush out of danger. That shot raining on in denies any attempt at the trade from Chris J. The Molly is going to force Rush out into the open, but he gets away with a lot of damage before he goes down. And with 20 seconds left on the clock, Chris J on 10 points of health, this might just be a complexity round. Yeah, if mouse boards don't save, I mean, complexity could just hunt down these kills after time. That could be a bit of a problem. Chris looks like he wants to die. He's hanging out in middle. But now, well, now that's out the window. Now he wants to hold onto his gun, but complexity might not let him live. They're going to push. They're going to get close. Oh, dear. Lots of noise made, but no wall bangs found. And complexity, they'll take the round anyway keeping their guns alive, most importantly, and building the CT economy early in this game. Mouse sports, both rounds they've had have been responded on by quick recoveries of complexity. Rush, great double on Long, holding down the line. He's been playing that corner uh, quite a lot, or at least close towards Long. Does find some value out of it. Orbs are back in, though. Poison back on Long, throwing flashes to set his team up for that fight. Carrigan is going to spam Config as he gets up Catwalk, but this is heard, and this is known by Complexity. Frozen finally wins a fight versus Rush, and that Long fight is always, uh, you know, a bit of a problem here when you're leaning towards B early, because now Poison's going to have to both watch a Catwalk and pivot between that and Long, running right back as we speak, but so is Carrigan running forward up Catwalk with the flashbangs. There they go, and one player's going to drop. Carrigan's in the spawn, not for long. Blame will rid him of the round, and now it's a four on four with the bomb trying to get towards A. Yeah, Poison has denied the first man out from Cat, and you can see what this has done to Maus. They're going to maybe try and hit B, because Rops has gotten into the site. 
and he's falling. Ooh. That is Ooh. clear. Frozen dealing with poison at long, and it might seem tempting now to rotate back. I think instead they're going to use Rops as a lurk in through B to try and help the bomb, because the bomb is in a spot of bother. Woxic is trapped at Catwalk. Oh, and this over. whole round is hit like a very weird situation. Rops has just bailed Mouse Sports out in such a big way. At least he believes. With those two kills, there's only one man left. But Oboe's already in B. Both players here for Mouse. Oboe trying to break them up into two 1v1s. And he gets his wish, but he's not able to win it out over Rops. Rops really is the savior of mouse sports there. Like, single-handedly on this play down through mid, removes the first, somehow taps down the man at car. That is just unreal. And in doing so, carves the path for that bomb to rotate down through mid into the B bomb site, which would not have been available had Rops made those shots connect. So stellar stuff on his behalf. An attack pause now, now called in from complexity. I try and figure out what's going wrong. And, you know, I think justifiably so, because in a good few of these rounds that Mouse Sports have put up, complexity have been looking good, right? And it's either come down to like losing the players at B and just having to save, or in that round there, you actually had the advantage. And it's the fact that B is open that allows Rops to come in on this flank and blindside you. So this B bomb site is causing problems for, uh, for complexity. And they've got to look as to how to address that here in round number nine. Yeah, and not really armed for the job, are they? Warp is available, perfect position for Poison, holding Woxig before he even gets to that spot. And two pistols around, right? This round isn't as simple as that one opening kill. Mouseports have a far better weaponry than complexity, and so this orb needs to be very mobile, mobile for Poison. Unfortunately, he's away from the car right now, so if Mouse commit Cat, then he can't really have much to say into it. Rops is close in B, but not committing on his own. Mouse is going to go fast into this site. Poison's already made it, though. They are close in CT. He doesn't realize he's been tacked down. It's a wide swing from Blame, and Carrigan and Frozen combined for two kills. Bomb thrown on the site. Big play by Carrigan. The grenade will finish off the job, though, and he walks right into it. Three on two for the retake, but no kid available. The problems just keep appearing for complexity, and with a man down lower, they've got to deal with him as well. Rops way in the wings with one config trades and that's going to be a retake now up against frozen on just 10 health oh and the flash is good they know he's here they know he's at ramp frozen can he offer anything wow. up swings wide but in doing so into the double peak of config and oboe Defuse found for complexity. Six now on the board and this CT side, you know, it feels like every time our sports put a round up on the board, there is an immediate response from complexity. The reason why it might feel like that is because every time our sports put up a round, there's an immediate response from complexity, <laughs> Hugo. It's funny how that wow, one works. Crazy. Yeah, Mouse Sports not able to chain together two in a row just yet. Yeah, and, and that's a, such a problem for building money, right? Like, you can just see the fact that Mouse are constantly on these, these ecos, even though they're winning them and stuff. But right here, I mean, they're buying a, a Hero AWP and a Hero AK on an eco round. Like, this is rough for Mouse. These are the players that survived in the save the other day. But Woxic immediately removed, and that AWP is no longer in play. It's going to get picked up and wallbanged by Chris J. Dear, oh dear. Poison, you don't want to trifle with him. The experience on this man is not to be messed with, and he has at least opened up long, but that's not where Mouse Sports want to go. Smoke down lower, trying to stay alive in this position with Config, but it's going to be Ogo drawing them in with fights. Trade is good. Config is still here, though, and Chris is not out of the woods just yet. That grenade misses with a flank. Shouldn't. The bomb dropped up top mid, and Rush coming down suicide. This is the last place Chris is going to expect, and Rush timing is everything on this play. Chris is looking the wrong way, and he's making noise. Bomb picked up. Does Rush know? It's going to begin to move forward. Oh, dear. It's ring around the rosy. Chris has cornered him. And Rush doesn't realize, at least not yet. But yeah, running, that will give it away. Rush should have this round under his hand. Although Chris has spotted him. Oh, has someone commed it? No one's realized he looked right at his opponent. He's actually hidden right behind the box. Sorry, the darkness eludes me again. Chris runs back towards long. Rush sees it from top mid. This is such a weird round. Rush has had a lot of opportunity, but he doesn't want to risk losing this one. And now he's going to pull his knife out and run on the flank. Chris kills him and fakes the death cam towards A. Config ain't falling for it though, or maybe he is giving it due consideration. Going to come back towards middle. Good read by Config. He's got the situation under his hand and he will be able to find it. Oh, that was a heartbreaker for Rush for there. I mean, the fact that he takes so long on that flank and gives Chris so much room 
I thought that he was at least going to try and play it like safe. But then the second Chris takes long, Rush falls for it. He sprints with his knife out and he dies, leaving it to Config, who is up for the task. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me, really. Seaside Inferno, man. Think about the amount of B hits that Complexity had, or or even the fact that, you know, it's just standard Inferno games. It's not, it doesn't even matter really what site you go to. Like, they were walking into 3A setups, trading effectively, three on two, plant, Mousebot save, because they're too far away. They're committed in B. So, a, a wise man once told me Dust 2 is like a big Inferno. And we've got that wise man on the line right now. Harry, any thoughts? Yeah, it really is, Hugo, you know, like, even in terms of the colors, striking resemblance here. <laughs> uh, of course, map two, Big Inferno, as it's called, and it might be a big bee rush. There's a lot of bees in this one, but oh, that... The... I don't know where I'm going with that. I tried to tie it in. I tried to tie it a bee joke, but it didn't happen. Let's see, buzzing into this bee site. It's Obo holding down the line. How is Bit of a hive mind, though, as all the rotations have come through from complexity. Meantime, though, Blame F has to try and hold Ooh. the line solo, and Frozen does best him. Let's see, up in the window, Poison looking to be the beekeeper, trying to keep this one under lock Ooh. and key, but that Molly is not what you wanted. He's actually... Oh! Okay, well, maybe that's what you wanted. Down to the 1v1, and Poison versus Frozen. Flash goes over the top. There's still a smoke in the door, and Poison is plagued with the indecision of what gun to commit to this with. Goes with the AK, lines up the shot. You're worried that the indecisiveness there on the weapon switching could have punished him, but no, he's uh, he's right to have chosen the AK. He trusts himself, he trusts the weapon, and he puts the round up on the board. A stellar retake there in the... Uh, I guess kind of essentially 1v2 for yeah, Poison, right? His much. teammate in the tunnels never really plays into the round. So an eighth on the board for Complexity. No money on the mouse board side. They're going to partially invest again with a hero AK on Chris J. And this has already given me memories of Inferno, you know? Like this is a very similar scoreline, a very similar situation to that previous map. Yeah. But Mouse have won these rounds, right? They they have won them here in Dust 2 with the, those mid to B plays that can be so suffocating on this T side. Complexity, well, they're not worried about it just yet. Poison's up on Cat. He's about to get the full brunt of this T side offense. And with a run boost as well, the flick will not connect. And I don't blame him. But grenades to follow. Keeping Mouse Sports back will be him and Rush combining for a kill. Blame is here as well. Feels like everywhere Mouse Sports go, there's three Complexity players ready to fight. Resmoke down, Mouseports are denied that passage, at least for the time being. Gonna wait for the right time to strike. Carrigan's picked up a smoke from the body of Frozen. He's gonna head elsewhere, looking for this mid to be. Take a note of Rops, he's actually out the doors already in that cubby close to middle, so... Already ahead of the curve, perhaps, but Complexity are watching for this from the B doors. Oh, and they are just getting churned up. Obo at the B doors, laying down the pain, does get... A Tech-9 pressuring him close, and the rest of the gang has smoked off in mid, but the B players are holding their ground at least right now. A bomb plant is available to Rops at a bare minimum, and that's something for Mouse Sports to work with. He's retrieved an M4. I don't think it's got any ammo left in it, so he's got to get this done with the Deagle, and he does find the first man in. He's just checked, and yeah, oh. see another for Rops, and the Deagle might be all what? it takes, Rops! What in good name is that? A fourth on the board, Mouse Sports. Oh boy, that is unreal. What? Unreal. He even, he even checked the M4. No ammo in it and commits with the D. Uh, I'm <laughs> speechless. I'm <laughs> speechless. I wasn't ready for that. All right, Robs, come on then. Let's get the rest of Mouse believing because you're clearly there. It feels wild that this Mouse Sports team, the same team that released their comm video from this map when they played it in Pro League Finals up against the Stralis, right? Do you remember that, Hugo? Yeah, have you seen dude, that video? I have. Think about the emotions and how happy, how hyped everyone on Mouse sounded when they were playing Astralis back at Pro League Finals Season 10. I think it was semi-finals, third map, Dust 2. And there was so much hype around this team. They were reaching new heights, heights that with this squad, they hadn't reached before at the time. And to see them now looking fragile, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't sit right with me. And here on Dust, maybe that little uh, that little clip from Rops in the last round, 
Maybe that's reinvigorated mouse sports. Let's see. They're setting up over here outside of A. They're trying to get across with the smokes down. And shots start to rain on through Ooh, for either right. side. And it's Ross to find the kill. Offering up a little bit more damage. Oh! But now the Deagle of Rush. All right. Come on, then. Another Deagle. Let's get it. He puts up three. Can Obo finish off what Rush has started? We're down to this 1v2 clutch. The bomb dropped at ramp. Obo coming in from long. And Woxic, he's having a pivot between cart and crossroads, and he is ready. Head on a swivel, fifth on the board for Maus, and another round going their way. Oh my, these Deagles, Harry, they are just dastardly, aren't they? Rush is warming up on this A site, and trying to do his best drops impression. It won't work out for the round, unfortunately. Obo just gets long as Wox considers the position, but a nice low economy round for Colt. Unfortunately, they got another one following that. It was a force bite. This back and forth affair, right? You talk about how Mouseports haven't had two rounds in a row. Well, finally they get it. And that has broken complexity. That's all it took. Four USPs in middle. Rush is going to flash these players once they get contact, once they feel the time is right. But Mouseports are so slow and so patient to this position. And that's exactly what they need to be. Because if they start rushing, then complexity are going to give them the beans with these USPs, Rush gets tagged through the door. He's not even peeking, he needs to be careful. He wants that flash to go out to help his team out, but Complexity have already bailed from middle. They said, Rush, we don't believe in it. And we're gonna go elsewhere, we're gonna go back towards A. Rush can just hang out, get him wall banged. It's actually Oboe, sorry, still on the doors. Rush is up on cat, flashes long for a fight. Frozen will win both of them though, no issue for Frozen. Cold, calm and collected are Mouse Sports and Complexity. Well, they're out of this round. Six for Mouse Sports, one left of the half, and plenty of money for Cole. They won't have the AWP available, but everything else is there. I like to think the Mouse Sports can still recover this. I want this series to go the distance, yeah. Hugo. I think it's going to be a fun one. And these Deagle clips in the last few rounds, they've shown us that. So come on, Mouse. Let's put up seven at the end of this first half. Let's keep it nice and close. Let's keep Complexity sweating. Let's give them the challenge that this Complexity squad deserve as well. Yeah, I mean, if we look at some of the scalps that Cole have taken down recently online in, in Europe, you know, I think it's actually really impressive considering how far this team has come in, in, the, in the few months that it's been here, you know, beating Sprout, Endpoint, Secret, Big, Nordovin, some, some decent teams in the European region. Of course, teams that you would expect Cole to beat, but, you know, they, they've certainly had their problems when they first moved here in Europe at, at winning those series. And right now, while well, complexity showing up on the big stages, this is Mal Sports, a map up and two rounds up and the last round of the half, they're favored as well. Everything in their hand. Mal Sports committing towards long with the bomb. Rops is again in B. He's been really good at coming in, either holding rotations in middle or lurking through B and, and coming in on flanks or securing the site to allow for the rotation of the bomb. Lots of effect from Rops' positioning in this game. He's going to throw his fake B smoke, go down lower, try and assist his team in other ways. What that smoke has done is immediately drawn a rotation. Not only have they given up long to fight for Catwalk, but Config has come towards middle. And so they might need to reconsider that one. A molly thrown from long. Config knows they could be close with the time that he's peeled away and he's been peeled away for Rops' benefit, but that timing is unfortunate. Poison pushes as Rops looks to go in on that backstab, and now Mouse Sports are reduced to two. Yeah, and they waited all round for, for Rops to find anything with that flank, and he doesn't, so this gets mopped up there by Complexity. It's not Complexity taking on Mouse Sports. 9-6 at the end of the first half of play, Hugo, and Complexity lean the way. You can hear the crowd. They're going wild. They're getting excited as we get ready to head into the second half of the second map in this series. The crowd indeed is going wild, Harry. And yes, I mean, the action, it's in front of us. It is paused, but it is indeed in front of us. Complexity up by three at the end of the first half here. They're also a map up, if that makes any difference. We've actually got even more clapping. That's actually, that's it. Yeah. Trace, shut your mouth. Thank you. They've actually overlaid a real crowd. <laughs> Just trying to, to drown out Trace. I don't blame them. That was pretty cool. Yeah, and we yeah. just had all that go down. Kind of improv, but I didn't know that was something we had available to us, honestly. I will be calling for that. You will be. Every, every halftime. And now the crowd <laughs> getting hyped up again. <laughs> Woo! There they are. Twitch chat, let me hear you make some noise. <laughs> 
Sounds about as unhinged oh, I as I imagine. Like talk show as opposed to like, because that's like, it's like a, it's like the crowd goes mild, you know. The it's like, it's like golf. <laughs> now sports. Set. Now sports now. Of course, pistol round. About to begin. Four seconds left on it. And Carrigan, respectful. Gone for the utility purchase alongside Frozen with a diffuse kit to his name. Now he's lining up the putt. There's about 75 meters on this one. And Obo out through long. Gets in there first. Yeah, Complexity want to get out in front of this one, and they think they can do it at long A. They're going to be here in numbers as well. You can tell by the defense here, split for mouse sports. They're all over the place in terms of three on the A site. So Chris Shea, he's going to have that first point of contact out long A, and that's going to make things interesting. Rock gets absolutely smashed at the car, and it's only time tells that it takes down Chris Shea as well. Now we've got a bigger problem on our hands. Mouse Sports already find themselves down 9-6, but this looks like a bomb flat. Big grenade from Kerrigan. Touchdown even. Kobe Bryant in the house. And of course, 3v2. Blame F and Rush just trying to get this bomb planted, Harry. Yeah, Carrigan is still a nuisance, still hidden in the elevator, and he's trying to ride this one all the way to the top. It's Carrigan looking for the last man at long, blame F all alone, and he's getting pressured, he's getting shut down, and it's Mouse to find the pistol. Now, this is getting some very similar vibes, Hugo, to what Inferno gave us moments ago. It's the same pattern, same scoreline, and the pistol round being won by Mouse Sports again. Even the same pistol round. Look at those grenades, man. Just dunking the players on the site as they plant. I can't believe Carrigan gets two out of that one. Him and Frozen combined, and Mouse Sports, they've just saved themselves. That looked like it was gonna fall apart, but instead, a round back in, and now they can find those conversions, they can put it up to 9-9, like they did on Inferno. So, like you said, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely similarities here between these series. We're gonna see where Mouse Sports go with this investment. Heavy on long, and for good reason. Complexity are up cat with Deagles. You expect teams to eco here, and that's why Chris has only got a P250. He's not running default USP. He knows there definitely could be armor, and there is. So, like, this this gun is a bit of a liability in this round. We'll see if the rest of Mouse Sports, who arm, are armed well, can put a stop to it. Here, Cole, go. Aragon's watching from the long side, Cole. They're not going to drop into sport. They're just going to fully commit to this cat cross. And the smoke's actually cut out Wokstick. He's close to the scout. This is not where you want to be because he's likely not going to be able to get more than one from this position before the trade comes in. Plant available. Miss shot Wokstick. Running out of chances. And Rush will remove him from the round. So if you remember, back on Inferno, this is what happened. The force was stolen away by complexity. And here, on Dust 2, you don't believe your eyes, but the Force Buy has been stolen away by Complexity. They get a bomb plot, they win it out, they go 10-7 up now. And they're in a really good spot to keep ahead in this matchup. Of course, if you are just tuning in, if you are just joining us right now, Complexity, they are on the back pick of Mouse Sports. Dust 2, in case you can't recognize it. <laughs> Don't know why you wouldn't be able to. It still looks pretty much the same as it always oh, had. Yeah. However, the map that just went down prior, that was a little bit of Inferno, a classic. And boy, Complexity, they came out swinging. They took that one convincingly, 16 to nine. Now leading on Dust as well, it's Complexity looking teed up to try and 2-0 this series. Yeah, Rops even dies to the bomb, like Mouse Boss. I wonder where their head is at right now. They're even gonna force into this round, and that's when you know times are desperate on the CT side, having to force here. I mean, you know, Eco wouldn't have even been worth it. So it's a, you know, it's the right decision by Mouse Boss, but it's not the decision they wanna have to make. Their economy has been, you know, pulled out from beneath them up against 10 rounds. This can really push complexity over the line here in this second map and in this series to open Group B as well. The first match we have inside of this group. Remember, we do have the, the other games coming up later. That will be Big Mad Lions. That's definitely an exciting one to keep your eyes on as well. So. <laughs> that sounds like just a description. Yeah, the we big, have a mad big Mad Lions. Lion. Yeah. Of course, the halftime show brought to you by the Big Mad Lions. And then the Complex Mice, well, they will be coming up after that. But right now, we'll save the Germans. We'll save the Danes for later. As we certainly sit in an international roster on both sides of the coin. Complexity 
up towards Catwalk, taking that A-bomb site. They will throw in the mid to B-smoke, keeping Mouse Sports here. It's a four-man B setup. If Cole bail and go B, they're going to lose the round, likely, but it doesn't look to be the case. Rush is lurking long, as he often does on the CT side, and Cole is just going to go fast into the site. Mouse Sports are trying to beat them to it. Chris is flashed off on long. Carrigan has crossed into A, but he was made quick work of. Nice scout shot, but it's going to come at a cost. Two players dead. The long flank is in. Rush has got another, and now Mouse Sports, they can't win this round. The bomb's been planted, and Rob and frozen might just think about saving. Yeah, this is a pretty gut wrenching spot to be in if you're Mouse Sports. This is their map pick, and it's looking even more dominant than Inferno at this point in time. 11 to 7 in favor of complexity. And you know, like Dust 2 for Mouse Sports is like one of the only maps left in the pool that's kind of remained unwavering, even yeah. in this rather kind of sure. downward spiral that they've been in for the last month or so. So this is a, a, a bit of a worrying sign. I do think, you know, like it, it's not uncommon that when you see a team kind of stumble, that they really do like fall from grace to begin with and then turn it around. But... <laughs> You know, I, I, that, that's the weird thing, right? Like, we've never been in a situation like right now in the world, right, where everything is shifted to online play. So I don't even know, like, how much we're putting stock in these results just yet because it is all we have for the yeah, time. No, I, know? I think and we've so had... all the teams are trying, like, a, a lot harder than I think you ever would for an online game. And I think, you know, this is the only metric we have. But I would like to think the mouse sport can recover, right? I would like to think that the high heights we've seen this team reach were the peak. And I think that's better from like a good CS perspective as well. But only time will tell if that's the case, Hugo. That's kind of the curse. Obo's just killed everyone in this round, Harry. He got two down middle and then found a third holding the B site. Bit of a push up and mouse spots. Well, they'll be pushed out of this round. 12-7, nice and clean for Cole. They have no issue. And now mouse spots, their first full rifle round here on the CT side, right? With the exception of that second round, which I, again, not a full rifle round because it's, it's number two. But uh, it's going to be this. Look at it. No AWP. One kit, just about util. I was going to say enough util, not even. They've just about got some util, a bare minimum. And th this is, you know, up against 12, you know, where you're mapped down. So this could be one of your two rifle rounds in this entire CT side. You've got to make it work. You've got to make it work. Carrigan dropping rush as a trade from config. Looks like it does escape long, but look at the B setup. Mousebots, no. On a whim, Complexity can just throw in a mid to B and close out the map. So Mousebots want to tend towards that side of the map and deny any chance of it happening. If, of course, Cole hit A, it will be a retake setup for Mousebots. Chris has that kit, and he is the deepest B player indeed. So that's the game plan for Mouse, but they really are relying on this ending B right now. Cole have no interest in making that happen. Oboe's holding from spawn side. We have Blame F in that ROPS position at top mid, and two players with the bomb from Cole out long. Yeah, the one thing that's kind of interesting to me, right, is like usually if, because like look at where Obo is holding, right? Number six on the minimap, you can see he's all the way back in T-spawn and he's just waiting. So this to me is like suggesting that Complexity are already expecting Mouse Sports to have began clearing out the tunnels. And he's waiting to see if he can catch a player like real deep. He never sees one. So, you know, I think on the back of this complexity here now coming to this conclusion that they were holding cat, they were holding T spawn and like the tunnels area. No one's pushed. And so there's not going to be this early info system for Mouse Sports to play off of. And with only Wox and Kia, with Mouse being set up for a B play, as you've been prophesizing, wow. Hugo, this might just have to be a save. Oof. You know, if Woxnick had gotten one, I think we see Mouse Sports attempt that retake. You know, if it's a three on three, you've got a kit on Chris. You're at a pretty important point in the game. Fact of the matter is, Woxnick gets nothing done. He gets smoked off and then gets killed through the smoke. So you're only left with this one option, and that is to hold on to these weapons. And for Chris J, he's only holding on to a Deagle and armor behind it. You know, not even getting out of this round with a weapon in hand. Complexity. I am very impressed right now. And... This group is certainly spiced up as a result. They're gonna get away with all their guns, no issue in doing so. On both sides of the case. And 13 rounds for complexity. Money is no longer an object. It's no longer an issue. It's not even a talking point. They've got maxed out and they can get the AWP in on poison right here if they want. They will. 
And here for Mouse Balls, right? Another eco. They're going to buy up against 14, and they'll have at least, you know, the double AWP available if they want that and everything they need. But again, that will be up against 14. And that's, of course, assuming they don't buy here. I think that's a safe assumption. I don't think Mouse Balls will make that decision, but uh, we'll see how they choose to invest their money. I don't know if you knew this, Harry. It's an important fact. Carrigan, he wasn't a, a classic nerdy computer kid at school. In fact, apparently, he was one of the first to get a girlfriend and is very sociable. He also went on to say that he wanted to win a major with Rob. So I don't know if you knew this, but it's all very important information. Right, yeah, okay. I think I see that. I think I've heard that one before. We're sure on the very sociable part yep, of the first yep, to get that a is girlfriend. True. He That's... was the first to get a girlfriend. He wasn't your classic nerdy computer kid, Harry. You've got to keep that in mind when you're talking about Carrigan. Probably one of the most important points. I can't imagine how much he's like... <laughs> he, he just, I'm glad he's just embracing that meme. That's can't uh, really do much wired. It's, Yeah, <laughs> you don't really have much of a choice. And that's what we like. But nowadays, you know, everyone's too busy making sourdough. <laughs> Something like that. Let's see, though, who's getting the bread in this round? Complexity. <laughs> they find a lot of damage early on. Blame F, don't through the door and he's in lower tunnel that's a nice little shot from Woxic, but not ultimately gonna deal the damage that's how long Carrigan here is your time and he's hit the shot he's at least provided one here does anyone have a flash to bail him out Woxic is the closest point and no util available so Carrigan, you're on your own, buddy. You're on an island. You're stuck in the pit. Uh, and Poison has the cross covered. He's going to try and kill Config here. He knows he's behind blue. Carrigan, not wanting to rush, drops back in the pit. Config takes him down. And now this scout might come and peek the AWP. That would be a big mistake. Config might bring the fight to him instead. Quick Molotov over the top. There's the AWP. Hits the tag. Walks are getting chased. And he won't escape. Not this time. Not alive. Poison moving up towards A. And complexity. The four entourage of T's. Three of them trying to take this site. Oh, and it's config to open up. Man advantage taken now for complexity and blame F even removing Chris J. Rops left in a 1v4 and he's looking like he wants to save. But at this point, you know, you're saving one M4 up against 14 rounds for complexity in a buy round that would be your last if your mouse boards. There is no room for error at this point in time and complexity, they're not making any. Blame F is even ready and waiting in T-spawn to take that gun away from Rob, so he is denied the save. He is not given anything. And this game looking very, very likely yeah. to end 2-0 at this point in time, right? If Mouse Sports don't get this round, they're up against 15, they've got nothing, and those are two big problems occurring at once. That's worse than just one problem. Yeah, Hugo. double the problem and half the solution, Harry. They also have no time to deal with it. This is a maths problem and mouse boards. I don't know if they brought their calculators. Quick kills out long. Woxic, he's still here, but so with the scope of poison. Oh, a missed shot. Woxic, he is on a timer and poison. He'll turn the clock off, quickly deals with him. Four on two as complexity move up towards his A site. This long position has been so good for them in this game. Mouse boards have not stopped it once. Rops is here. He's behind the smoke. He can go through. Config's looking deep past it and Rops has a window Rops has a gap no one's watching this and Rops could shut down this entire round on his own Ooh, Rops come on man let's get it 1v4 and he's opened up with one they've left it. the bomb they've left the bomb oh no Rops is sticking it they jump up but the shots are missing Rops has got the defuse and no one gets him off of it in time that's the round for Mouse. That is a round for Mouse Sports eight on the board Rops with a ninja defuse and uh Yikes. Yeah, why didn't they boost? They both went for jump shots. They both like got a tag and then they went round and let him stick it. Like if one player crouches there, boost the AK, they spam, they win the round. Now obviously, you know, hindsight, hilariously so, and heat of the moment, no one wants to make that call. They're just rushing him. They're trying to beat him to the punch. They're trying to beat the timing as fast as they can, not mess around constructing a boost that might, they might fall off. But that was the only way they could have won the round. Rops had the timing. They were too deep, and that will be a retake from Outsports. Incredible stuff. I actually didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Unless he lied to me. Always, uh... Always a question. Yeah, that's quite the, 
Unless I've been lied to on this bit of information, here's some information here's as a fun I know fact it. that may also not be factual, but it is fun regardless. No, I like that. You know, I like having some fun with it. And why would Chris J lie? You know, what's he got to lie about? Exactly. Our sports, they've saved themselves, or more specifically, Rops has. He's kept them in this series, but only by the skin of their teeth. They are dangling from a thread on a knife's edge. How many more metaphors do you want, Harry? I'm running out. Flexi are already two away from taking us over the line, and our sports don't have everything to play with either. Chris J on a deke, but that's pretty much a rifle for Chris. He's pretty used to this gun. Yeah, what you're hoping here, if you're Mouse, is that that, that defuse and the fashion in which you got that round like really rattles complexity and gives you a way back into this game. The problem you're going to have is that you really haven't made it easy for yourself, right? Because let's say like complexity just completely self-destructed on the back of that, right? They still have so much money. And so even if everyone is doubting themselves, even if everyone is all shaken up, which I don't think is going to be the reality at all. But even in a worst case, I feel like as long as you're still doing damage, you can just long this game out yeah. right you've got the cash it's gonna be a ground for my grind for mouse sports let's see if they're up to the challenge frozen flashed in but not able to get a kill this a site now belongs to complexity and once again it's mouse tasked with a retake up against overwhelming odds and hobo making matters even worse single-handedly lays down the pain even drops config so he's on three kills in this round but only two of them on the enemy Rops oh. does get taken care of, and this was looking like maybe Mouse Sports could have found something, but now it falls onto Chris J alone Bang. with the Deagle, attempts the jump shot now. Obo, four kills in the round, three of them onto Mouse Sports, the other one onto Config. But it doesn't matter, 15 on the board for Complexity, and just five kills away from 2 owing Mouse Sports in this opening series of Group B. And it's looking like a lock-in, Harry. It's looking like mouse sports don't have anything to stop them. The money certainly isn't going to be a factor. Uh, you know, the mouse sports are proud of. No AWP. And Woxie, we saw that stat earlier about how his performance increases when he comes into Dust 2. It's not surprising, but it isn't appearing. Woxie has been quiet in this map. Seven kills to his name this deep into the game. And he was the top performer back on Inferno. That's the biggest surprise of all. So, you know, money hasn't been there for Mouse Sports. There's certainly a, a factor. Seaside Orping can be difficult uh, with the way that Complexity are playing very tight. Poison's Orp never giving Woxic a way in on that car position. Pretty much didn't move away from there in the entire first half. And so the situation Mouse Sports have been in has certainly been a hard one, but that's thanks to Complexity's powerful work. And right now they're looking to power through this map to finish it off. Fast play through middle. That molly will deny Woxic's re-entry past the smoke. They've got to go B. Chris is here. Quick trade. Config with a kill. One more man in the site. Not for long. Oboe's dropped in from the tunnel side. And now it is just a bomb path for Complexity. Mouse Sports three up, trying to play, trying to fight for survival. They do deal with Blame F down in mid and they spot Obo in the lower tunnels. Two players now for complexity getting caught trying to retreat into safer angles. Poison missed Flick and doesn't connect it the second time around. It falls onto Config, but he's closed in the doors. And now Config unfrozen. 1v1, time ticking away and it's Config to swing wide.